This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome. This is the Isolines video intro, and it's part of the topographic maps playlist of videos in Unit 1. So this part of Unit 1 is all about how we map and survey and observe and collect data on the Earth's surface. It's kind of like a prerequisite to geomorphology and pre appreciating that the Earth's surface has various features has different altitudes and elevations and different features that are formed on the surface that creates a very uh, unique terrain and relief across different parts of the world. As you see from the uh, central uh, center picture here, you've got the Himalayan mountains and the Indian subcontinent and Asia shown obviously nighttime over the uh, far eastern area of Asia with Japan and parts of eastern China. Um, under obviously nighttime conditions uh, and you see parts of Europe here on the far left but you see this various terrains and various landscapes um, that are formed on this planet and Himalayas are currently the largest mountain range on the planet and a great place to show the example. So this video is all about isolines and this video is going to review the term isoline and discuss the various types and functions uh, within that and introduce contour lines as a type of isoline. So what is an isoline? An isoline is a connected line between points of equal value. points or, or values that are equal. So an isoline, well iso, the actual word derives from Greek and it means equal. So a line that's equal. So it's a line that connects equal points or values on a map. So this is basically mapping. And we are usually looking at the map from the uh, an aerial view or a bird's eye view. So we are looking down onto the Earth's surface. And these isolines can basically tell us information about the surface. Now, the information could be very uh, different, a wide range of isolines. Um, are used to explain different kinds of information. So there are two types of isoline. So these are two types. They're all categories as well. So the first one is isometric. And that's the one that's more commonly used. Isometric. And the other one is called an isopleth. Now, an isometric is a definitive value or a singular line that connects those values of the same or equal amount. Again, these are the more commonly used. An isopleth, in contrast, is going to show, it's going to connect areas of equal value, but are more of a um, more of a larger zone. So the best example would be, let's say, a map showing um, Asia again, like in the like like previously, but it's showing population density. So this might might go through different boundaries and country boundaries and uh, time zones and basically the population density of Asia would just be a zoned level of density and it would indicate high and low density and, and the different areas geographically and it would basically go beyond borders whereas an isometric isoline is more like showing individual points of a of an isometric isoline and the best one is a contour line 
which is showing certain or um, elevation points on the Earth's surface. Or it could be, for example, it could be an isobar, which is in the atmosphere, which is showing atmospheric pressure and lines that connect where the same pressure is around a location. Then you could also look at another one, which is an isobath, which in the oceans is equal depth within the ocean. It could also be uh, isobathytherm, which is going to be the underwater temperature. So again, these are singular connected lines showing equal value, whereas an isopleth that is more on the distribution of equal values, which again can basically go beyond boundaries and beyond that single line and show a, a connected area of distribution or of the value it's, it's looking at. So isometric and isopleth. So the function, the function of an isoline in different forms or to show information, to give information to the, to the observer about a certain location. Again, it could be pressure, temperature, density, but it will give information. And it will show specific values. And it will represent the map in a more interactive, more three-dimensional, more interpretive way than just showing simply the physical terrain. It will give the terrain, it will give the Earth's surface more details. And you can visualize and interpret from a two-dimensional map into a three-dimensional um, graphic image where you can take out more information uh, from that singular location. To review, isolines come in two categories, isometric and isopleth. Isometric are basically the given values of equal points on a map, and it's connected by a single line that's a smooth kind of line that indicates the equal value along that, that, that line. Isopleth is more of a zoned uh, area showing distribution and it's unconfined and wherever the same equal value is of, let's say, population density, that will show um, that will have a range of that density on that map and it will be a range or a zone. Uh, contour lines are a form of isometric isoline and they're the most commonly used as part of a, a topographic map which we're in right now for our, our videos. And then the function of it is to take that two-dimensional map and convert it into, well, convert it using isolines for information to convert it into a three-dimensional graphic uh, visualization or presentation of that same map. So you could get, you can take more information from the map, you can use it in various ways uh, and infer more details about the map by using those isolines. All right, thanks everyone.